channel. Today I have a monthly September message for all of you Scorpios out in the collective. I want to point out that this is going to be a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with every single Scorpio out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates from this message and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I'm a psychic intuitive and a spiritual essence coach and I provide you with guidance, wisdom, and inspiration every other week right here on this channel. Without further ado, Scorpio, let's go ahead and dive right into your monthly message. All right, Scorpio, you know the drill. This is going to be a nine card draw, so let's see what comes up. So remember that we are starting out with where you currently are this month and you are at justice here, Scorpio. So the one thing I can tell you about justice is that this is about the law of cause and effect. I feel that right now, Scorpio, you're sort of feeling like you're in balance. I feel like this is kind of half and half for all of you out in the collective. Some of you are feeling like you're out of balance and some of you are feeling like you're in balance. I want to point out here that justice um, is really about finding your truth and aligning to it, okay? So let's see what additional information we have. So your theme this month is going to be the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so this is interesting because you're starting out at justice, which is about the law of cause and effect, right? So this is about anything that you... Whatever, whatever of like, so for every cause, there is an effect, right? For every action, there is a reaction, right? So it's about truly understanding how are you aligning to your own inner truth here this month? Um, because, you know, this justice card holds the sword, right? And the sword is double-edged, right? You can wield the sword to align you to your highest good and the highest good of all, or you can use the sword um, to your detriment, right? So it's really about understanding how are you wielding your sword? Are you aligning to your truth? And are you allowing that to sort of push you towards um, your goals? Or are you using the sword to your own benefit um, and thinking that that is justice, okay? Now, your theme with the Page of Pentacles is about understanding that you need to be grounded, okay? Understanding that you need to be very grounded in the things that you are wanting to create. I feel like if you're being given an opportunity here this month, because I feel like for a lot of you, this is gonna represent an opportunity that is gonna be presented to you. An opportunity that is gonna give you um, a chance to really ground something in the physical and make it become a reality, like nourish it and continue to to make it grow um, so that it becomes something that can be utilized and can flourish into something beautiful and amazing for many people, not just yourself, but for many individuals. So it's important that you recognize that you have to be practical in how you approach what it is you are trying to create. And remember, I feel like if you, because remember, so how the law of cause and effect comes into play is that, you know, understand that whatever action you put out into the universe, there is a reaction for that. So try not to look at this as what is in this for me, right? You have to look at it from the perspective of, you know, how is this going to benefit for all? Like, how is this going to benefit for my highest good and the highest good of all? I say that because Scorpios have a tendency to, I feel like a lot of you have a tendency to just sort of see things from your point of view because you're so used to people backstabbing you. You're so used to people, you know, you using you and you don't take shit from anybody. But I want to point out here that what I'm seeing so far for you this month, it's going to be very important for you that you align yourself to your truth and that you remain practical about what it is you're trying to create 
and make sure that you remain grounded, okay? Now, what is your accomplishment? Emperor, okay, so yes, this is really about taking the lead, being the initiator of your own success and being strategic about the, the plant, like being strategic about the moves that you're wanting to make. The one thing about the emperor is about being your own source of authority and making sure that you're expansive, right? So when I see this with justice, when I see the emperor with justice, it's, it's important to recognize because sometimes the emperor has a tendency to be this, um, has, has a tendency to get into this all high and mighty kind of complex where I'm the king, I'm the ruler, I decide, and we're going to do everything that I want. We're going to do it the way I want to do it, okay? Again, you have to look at this from the perspective of the greatest good for all, right? So you have to look at it as a whole. It wants you to look at it as from an objective point of view and not just look at it from your point of view, okay? So I feel like a lot of you are coming into your own power, and this is why I feel it's so important for you to understand the cause of law, I mean, the law of cause and effect, okay? Um, because I feel like we've entered a time here where a lot of us are getting a lot of our innate power of who we really are, and if you don't know how to utilize that power in a good way, it can be very detrimental to a lot of people. Okay, now what, is, what do you need to avoid here, Scorpio? What do you need to avoid? Okay, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like what I keep hearing here is that with this Knight of Pentacles, it's about recognizing that um, understanding, this is like, this is so hard to, to like get it across. I feel like what this is saying is that Scorpio, you have a tendency to want to see results instantaneously, right? Like you want to see it like right now. The Knight of Pentacles is this energy where it's, it's building towards its future, right? And we're talking like long-term. We're not talking like immediate within the next few weeks, right? You need to avoid um, looking at everything as an opportunity. This is weird. This is really weird. It's like, I don't ever look at the Knight of Pentacles this way, but this is exactly what I'm hearing. So it's like, they're wanting you to be very careful how you're viewing your accomplishments or the things that you are building towards, right? Because it's like, they're saying, don't view it from the perspective of this is all mine, right? I worked hard for this, so I deserve this. What they're saying is that they're wanting you to understand that all of these little things that you've planted, all of these seeds that you've put out, they're for the benefit of everyone as a whole. They're not just for you, okay? And I'm really feeling like this is a message for like a few of you out in the collective because this is, it, to me, this is really speaking about your power. Like understand that the power that you have been given, the gift that you have been given, the talent that you have been given is not for you. It is for the benefit of all. So I'm looking at what they're saying is it's for the collective. It's not just for you. So you need to avoid looking at it from the perspective of this is mine and I'm going to hold on to this for a rainy day. No, you're needing to share your talent. You're needing to share this gift with the collective because that's what it's, that's what it's for. Okay. Now, what are you needing to embrace here? Okay. Okay, we have the Six of Cups with the Chariot. Okay. Now, the Six of Cups is about the inner child, and it's about the emotions that often come up when it comes to family um, or things from our past. 
the overall message with the Six of Cups is about seeing things through the eyes of compassion, being very compassionate about what it is that you are experiencing. And the chariot is about your willpower, your will and the direction that you're moving. I do feel that where you're currently going right now here, um, Scorpio, is you're moving towards a much heightened or expansive form of yourself, almost like you're advancing spiritually, intellectually, emotionally, you're seeing things very differently. For a lot of you, this could be about your ascension, transitioning from a 3D to a 5D, because and I feel like it's gonna happen very quickly and you're gonna shift into this new persona um, and it's gonna feel very awkward for you because I feel like a lot of you are already getting like, you're experiencing these ascension symptoms that are making you feel kind of loopy, which is why the messages get grounded, right? Make sure that you're grounded um, in something that you are doing that is mundane right? Like allow yourself to really be planted firmly in something that is mundane to help you process these, you know, light codes that are being infilled, that are being put into you as you ascend to this higher version of yourself. For what you're embracing is, I feel it's important that as you go through this ascension process, you will have some things that will come up from your past inner child work that will need to sort of come in and that you will need to sort of allow yourself to go there because it could be dark. I'm not going to lie. It could be dark, but you have to take, you have to take the wheel. You have to assert yourself to know that you're doing this because it is what is best for the, for you and for the highest good, right? Like, so it's all, we're all interconnected in this process of evolution. And as we ascend, we're all interconnected, right? And we're all, everything that we do also helps Mother Gaia. It helps the Mother Earth. So it's important that you really see things from a very compassionate place here. Understand that as you go through this, you will be successful at it. You're going to do great. You're going to overcome whatever it is you're facing, but the chariot is really about moving there quickly. And for some of you, this could be actually represent like moving to someplace else, right? Okay, now what is your obstacle? The five of pentacles. I feel that this is gonna be very representative this month about you needing to um, be your own hero. It's interesting that this comes up because the, whenever I see a five of pentacles, I know that it often reference is referencing the disappointments that we often feel when we're unheard, we're unseen, or it's a test of our resources. Um, we often feel like we've been neglected or we've been, um, you know, taken advantage of and we've been left out in the cold, right? Um, but I feel that when you really focus on that energy and you stay stuck in that energy, then you're not really aware of what's currently going around or what's around you. You're not even aware that you can be your own savior in this situation as long as you understand that it is an experience that is teaching you something, but that you can overcome it as long as you allow yourself to see things from a higher point of view, okay? Now, your support is the ace of swords here, which is, I feel like this enlightenment and this aha that you will have this month as you sort of go through this ascension process. I feel like you're going to understand yourself a little, a lot better. You're going to be more in alignment with your higher truth. And you're going to start recognizing that all of the things that you've accomplished up until this point, um, have led you to this point because it has made you a better person, right? And by being that better person, you're starting to recognize and see that other people witness that. They become inspired just by observing you and they become motivated to do their own inner self-reflection and their own inner work, okay? So this Ace of Swords is a new beginning in your own thought process. You're gonna start sort of 
um, having a lot more in-depth understanding of what transpires and you're going to move through things a lot quicker, right? Now, what is your action this month here, Scorpio? What is your action? What is your action? Okay, we have Four of Wands energy. So I feel that what this Four of Wands is saying is that you need to sort of um, go with the flow, right? Um, understand that your solid foundation is very stable. Celebrate. Allow yourself to be in the now. Be present. Um, focus in on all of the things that you that are worth celebrating that you're happy about, that you're grateful for. I really feel that that's what you're really needing to focus on because that is what's really gonna help you stay grounded. That's really gonna help you align to your inner truth. I feel like you really need to be present um, in the moment right now because you're going through an ascension process and this ascension process is gonna make you feel, um, and I'm literally getting very lightheaded as I'm saying this because that's that's how they confirm. Um, I feel like when you can allow yourself to be present and go in within the flow of things, I feel that you will be able to really see the the truth, right? You will be able to have so much clarity about what's really going on and you'll be able to see the truth and not see things from a very clouded perspective. Now, what is your advice this month? Okay, the Hierophant, here we go. You're awakening. You're awakening to a higher version of yourself. Um, I also wanna point out that the, five, that the Hierophant represents change, right? You're going through this massive change. You do have two fives right here. So I do feel that um, this change is really about you sort of ascending, um, learning about understanding your beliefs and really understanding that, you know, maybe there are some traditions in your life that don't match with you anymore, right? Maybe you're starting to understand that you don't really feel the same way that you did as your family did or as you once used to, and now you're having to have a much better understanding of who you are, and you're aligning to that, and I think that that's important. I do feel overall here, Scorpio, this month, um, as you go through this um, new awakening and this new ascension, um, you are really needing to look into unconditional love and compassion you need to really um, be aware of your surroundings, be in the flow, be in the state of now, um, remain grounded and understand that your thoughts really do create your reality. So be in alignment with your higher self, be in alignment, seek the truth and the clarity in every given situation, be the authority figure in your own life and take charge. So let's go ahead and see what additional information spirit has for you here, Scorpio. We're going to look into the Sacred Creators deck. What additional information and insight can you offer Scorpio this month, Spirit? What additional information and insight can you offer Scorpio? Okay. All right. We have, what does your soul say? We are going to read from the book. Um, I feel that this is beautiful card because it does really want you to tune into that higher aspect of yourself and really listen. What is your soul trying to tell you? How are you um, supposed to be listening to what your inner soul is trying to align you to? So here we go. Your soul knows it always does. Take some time to tune in and journal, meditate, listen and translate. You already know what you want, so go for it. If you desire a specific future for yourself, it's because it is 100% possible for you to achieve it. Your desire is an indicator of what you can achieve when you set your heart and mind to it. It's time to go get that dangling carrot you've been dreaming about. 
and to ask yourself why you've been hesitating. What's stopping you from building the life you crave? This card indicates success at the end of a long journey. Take what everyone else wants out of the equation because this is all about what you want. Right now, you need to be a little bit greedy, a little bit egocentric, more than a tiny bit focused on your needs. It's okay. You spend so much time focused on everyone else that you may need to tune it all out for a few hours in order to really tune in to yourself. When you listen to the whispers of your beautiful soul, what does it say to your heart? Okay, Scorpio, this is your message. Um, I feel that it does match a lot with what the tarot cards said and what came out. Again, I do feel that what it's wanting you to avoid with this Knight of Pentacles, again, it's really about um, sort of aligning with your truth. It's important that you align with your truth and focus on what your heart truly desires and be in the present moment now. So Scorpio, I thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next time with your new message. Namaste guys. Thank you.